If you wanna get started on rum cocktails, but you don't necessarily wanna go down the whole tiki cocktail route yet, if your palate is a little bit fruitier, then stay tuned because in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make my top five go-to rum cocktails for those of you with the fruitier palate. Welcome back rum friends, but for those of you that are new around these parts, hello, welcome right here on the Yellow Channel, my big channel. This is the one where I mainly focus on rum education. Anything and everything that can be really dumbed down to get you understanding rum and rum cocktails a bit more. So if that sounds like fun, make sure you hit that subscribe button. But don't forget, I've also got five other YouTube channels, all dedicated to different niches, attracting different audiences. So if that sounds like fun, go and check those links out in the description below. Now, before we dive in, I want to assure you there's nothing here too technical. In fact, some of the ingredients kind of double up into two cocktails as well. So you don't need to go out and buy loads of different stuff here. Yes, like any cocktails, there's going to be different recipes, different ingredients that you might need to acquire, but they should be pretty easy to get for a lot of you. And even then, when I talk about some of the rums that I've used in here, I give you alternative rums that you could use. So these are definitely fun. They're definitely fruity and they are honestly I think they are the best tropical cocktails you'll ever find so let's dive in so the first cocktail we're going to start off with possibly the easiest cocktail of the video and that is the hurricane absolutely adore this cocktail essentially it boils down to a three ingredient cocktail your dark rum of choice I've gone planter ray od and um, you could go worthy 109 if you're in the UK a good recommendation is uh, goldstone's dark rum heck even Myers, goslings all that sort of stuff are going to work in this with your passion fruit, this is a blend of 50% passion fruit, 50% sugar. It's important to note, if you're going to use a product like Funkin, which is pretty much globally available these days, uh, bear in mind this is be near as damn it to um, pure passion fruit. This is actually 90% passion fruit to 10% sugar. So people like Martin Cape, Beach Bun Berry, they do blend this with 50% sugar. So if you're doing like just to boil it right down, let's work in US, let's work in ounces, essentially doing a blend of 30 mil of puree to 30 mil of sugar syrup, all right? But you were kind of batched up. So that's all that is. That's sort of a pre-mixed blend, if you like. Um, the other thing to note, if you are going to use a syrup like this, this is going to be a damn sight sweeter because these are like 15 to 18% fruit. The rest of it is sugar, so 85% sugar. So they are going to be a lot sweeter than using a puree or something like that. Uh, other things here, lemon juice, as I said, I do like to run a touch of grenadine through the cocktail just to give it a sort of slightly red hue. Uh, and you don't need the actual passion fruit if you don't want to. I just like running up there cutting it in half, running half the pulp through the cocktail, and then using the other half of the passion fruit for the garnish. Let's start off with the rum, and I'm going to shake this cocktail, although you could flash blend it, but we're going for 60 mil of your dark rum. And by flash blend, I mean sort of milkshake uh, blender, like a spindle blender, not a, like a neutral bullet or a proper blender where it's going to just turn into a slush puppy. Then I'm going for 30 mil of the passion fruit puree or syrup. 30 mil of freshly squeezed lemon juice, just a tiny little drizzle of grenadine, about a bar spoon, about five mil, and then scoop in half the pulp of the passion fruit. I'm gonna shake with crushed ice. Shake and dump into your hurricane glass, or in this case, actually a pina colada glass, because it's smaller. And then to garnish, I always like a sprig of mint for the color contrast, and then the other half of the passion fruit. Absolutely adore this cocktail. It's lovely and tart, but with a little bit of citrus, a little bit of sweetness to it. Passion fruit, dark rum, lemon juice. It just works so, so well. So that's your first one. Let's move on to the second one. Now for cocktail number two, we're going over to Jamaica and the reggae rum punch. And this is fun and fruity, but you really do notice the rum in this one because we are going for a Jamaican unaged overproof. Now there's three types. Essentially, most of you, the vast majority are going to go Ray and Nephew. There is also Rum Bar from Worthy Park and there is also Rum Fire from Hamden. But this uh, Ray and Nephew is by far and away, they're all 63% ABV. They, they do taste slightly differently, but Ray, Uncle Ray is like pretty much the go-to around the world. So we've got that some strawberry syrup this time, and then lime juice, pressed pineapple juice or unsweetened pineapple juice to you guys in the US, and freshly squeezed orange juice. And this is gonna be a shaken cocktail as well. So to start off with, we're going for 45 mil, one and a half ounces of this 63% Jamaican overproof rum, 15 mil, half an ounce of lime juice, and then 15 mil, 
half an ounce of your strawberry syrup. And then 45 ml, one and a half ounces of pressed pineapple juice. And 45 ml, one and a half ounces of freshly squeezed orange juice. Plenty of ice. And then I like serving this up in a footed Pilsner glass. We're just going to do an open gated pour. It should just nicely fit. And then to garnish, I love my mint. So we're going for a sprig of mint. I've got a wedge of pineapple there. And then we might as well add a maraschino cherry. I love this cocktail. It is, if you understand what that Ray and Nephew is like, that Jamaican funk, it's just delicious in there because it gives you, it really does give you the kick of the alcohol, but then you've got a fun and fruity juices to go with it. It's a nice, simple punch, but everyone's going to love this. Now for cocktail number three, again, I absolutely adore this cocktail. We're going to do the painkiller cocktail. Now, Pusses have obviously trademarked the Pusses painkiller. Uh, so, there's, so I'm going to use Pusses, but you could use you know, you could just, I personally would highly recommend something like Worthy 109 or Plantation OFDD in there as well, but it's absolutely delicious. So the ingredients, again, very simple. Uh, we've got the orange and the pineapple juice that we used in the last cocktail. I've got some coconut puree. Uh, you could use uh, Coco Lopez or Coco Real. There's very virtually identical uh, products there. I just prefer to use this one because for me, it tastes the most authentic in the UK. It's one of the better um, coconut purees we get here in the UK. And then for my rum, look, I know pretty much that the uh, the pusses, the gunpowder proof is going to be the worldwide one, but I really do like using the pusses spiced in this, the gunpowder proof spiced. That rum spiced up, but I know I'm fully aware that this is not available much at all outside of the UK. But, you know, Pusses is a pretty good go-to. Just to be different this time, I'm going to flash blend this. So we're going for 45ml of our Navy Strength Pusses Gunpowder Proof Spiced Rum. Worth noting, if you're going to use a 40% or a slightly weaker rum, then up it to 60ml of rum. But for an overproof, you really, or a Navy Strength, you only really need 45ml. Then I'm going for 30ml, one ounce of my luscious coconut puree, complete with little bits. And then 30 ml, one ounce of freshly squeezed orange juice. And then 90 ml or three ounces of your pressed pineapple juice. Add in a good scoop of crushed ice. Then after a quick five to 10 seconds on the old blender, just dump it into your glass. Then to garnish, I've got a couple of pineapple fronds and a dried orange, but you could use a fresh wedge of orange if you want. Honestly, I really love that. It's just fun and fruity. The coconut, that dark rum, that spiced rum in this case, it just works so well. It's like a pina colada on steroids. You know, once you try this, the painkiller, you'll very rarely go back to the pina colada unless you really don't like darker rums and you prefer those lighter sort of styles of rums. But that, highly recommend you get involved in that. Now, next up for your fourth cocktail, we're going to possibly my favourite, what I would call tropical cocktail. This is, you know, does get classed as a tiki cocktail, but I call it more of a tropical cocktail. This is the Missionary's Downfall, and I fell in love with this once I kind of nailed the ratios for me. So, ingredients. You want a lighter style of sort of Cuban, Puerto Rican rum. I do go slightly heavier aged. I think the original recipe would be kind of like a Don Q Cristal, an unaged um, rum in this, but I really do like the vibes that the Don Q7 brings to this. I think it makes the cocktail. Uh, peach liqueur, do you know what? That morning stuff is actually really, really, really good. So I love that. Uh, honey mix, two parts honey to one part water if you're going to make it yourself. Just makes it your honey a little bit more runny, but I've always got honey syrup here. Pineapple puree, think you know, just get just get a tin of pineapple chunks if you want to blend. Because we are going to blend this down. I've got my neutral bullet at the ready here. So, you know, if you want to go pineapple chunks, go for your life. That'll work. Um, you might just need to balance it. If you're going pineapple chunks, you might just need to balance it very slightly with some sugar or extra honey. Uh, but bearing in mind, this is 50% sugar, 50% fruit in here. And then I've got some lime juice and a whole load of mint. I'll get more specific in a second. So let's do the mint straight away. Basically, what the recipe calls for 
for is 60 mil of mint. So just pack your mint in there. You can press it down, you can add a bit more, but that is about perfect for me there. So a whole load of mints, about 60 mil. And then we're going for 15 mil, one five half an ounce of lime juice, 30 mil, one ounce of honey syrup or honey mix. Now the original recipe does say 60 mil of diced pineapple, but I'm going for 30 mil of this pineapple puree. 15 mil, half an ounce of your peach liqueur. And then finally, this isn't actually too boozy. It calls for 30 mil of your light Puerto Rican rum. But if you wanna up that to 60 mil or 45 mil, you go for your life. Now you want about six ounces of crushed ice. And then after five seconds on the old neutral bullet, just pour it straight into a coupe glass. Then I'm just gonna garnish with a little sprig of mint on top. Honestly, that is so good. I don't want to play about with it anymore and I don't actually want to make it that much more boozy. I just really like that. It tastes like a naughty sort of naughty, peachy, pineapple-y, minty free, uh, uh, kind of slush puppy if you like. It just tastes really, really, really good. Honestly, you've got to try and make this one. Now for your fifth and final cocktail, you need to kind of rinse out your blender or your neutral bullet because we are going to make the rum runner. Now I've rocked out various recipes on different channels. The most recent one being on the red channel and that is the, the recipe that I'm going to use. That's the most authentic now that we've done the research and actually it does taste the best. So ingredients, we'll go back to front. Lime juice, grenadine. I use pomegranate uh, syrup for my grenadine to try and be uh, as authentic as possible. Grenadines these days are like raspberry and, you know, different red fruits essentially to make up uh, a grenadine. But, you know, even says grenade on the front of the bottle there. So that's pomegranate. Uh, creme de mure, blackberry liqueur we've got. We've got banana liqueur, giffard, posh giffard. Oh, so good, this stuff. Really, really good. Tempest Fugit, I've tried. Um, I do like it, it's just I class it as a very alcoholic syrup. It's a lot thicker, it's a lot syrupy than what this stuff is. This stuff is just amazeballs. And then the rum, you don't need much, but it calls for a 151 Caribbean rum, sort of like British Virgin Islands or Virgin Islands rum. So stuff like Cruzan or something like that, we don't get that here in the UK. I fell in love with this recently on my Blue Channel. So this is Bounty from St. Lucia, there, 151. Now this recipe threw me at first, that's why I stayed away from it, but it does work. 45 mil, one and a half ounces of lime juice. 20 mil of your grenadine. 22 and a half mil of your blackberry liqueur, 22 and a half mil of your banana liqueur, and then 22 and a half mil of your 151. Good scoop of crushed ice. And then after a slightly longer blend this time, about 10 to 15 seconds, so it's silky smooth, just decant into your favorite double old fashioned glass. Then garnish again for color, color contrast, some more mint, and then just another wedge of pineapple. I know you're gonna be thinking, that's way too much lime juice. I honestly did, I generally did. But honestly, especially with the, the sugar levels I've got in those in those liqueurs, the posh chiffards, the, um, the Joseph Cartron uh, Crown de Mule, they've got that little bit of kind of sugary kick to them. The balance is just stunning and the rum shines through. It's fun, it's fruity, without being that whole sort of fruit juice thing, if you know what I mean. This is just proper delicious. So there you have my top five rum cocktails for those of you with the fruitier palate. I want you to jump in the comments right now. Let me know which one of these you would like to try first, or if you've already made them, let me know which one is your favorite. Get those recommendations coming in for everyone, all the newbies so they can kind of work out which ones they want to try first. Now, if you want to get into tiki cocktails, you, if you want to know what my top five must try tiki cocktails are, then watch that video right there.